So on March 24th, uh, 24, sorry, 2017, a 23-year-old lost his life riding a motorcycle. Um, he was getting off, he was going on the 22 freeway to get off on Bristol, and as he was slowing to a stop, he was trying to switch lanes, and he lost control of his bike and crashed against the roadway, and he lost his life. His name was Jose, and he was one of my junior high school friends. So today I'm going to be talking to you about... Um, why I believe, uh, or why motorcycles shouldn't be ridden on the streets or on the freeway. So my first main point is um, gonna be statistics on death fatalities caused by motorcycles, and the second one is going to be why they are dangerous. So the first main point is gonna be on the death fatality statistics. So in 2015, 40% of the deaths were caused um, by motorcyclists not using their helmets while riding the motorcycles. Um, in 2015, also 4,976 people died in a motorcycle accident. So this rose up to 8.3% from 2014, and in 2014, there was 4,594 deaths. So this was according to the National Highway Traffic Safety. And it was written by the Insurance Information Institute and the article was called Background on Motorcycle Crashes. So going back to 2015, um, motorcyclists were 29 times more likely to die than actual deaths in vehicles. Um, and then the fatality rate per registered vehicle of motorcyclists in 2015 was six times riskier. So you should ride motorcycles. And then um, these accidents are mostly caused like from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, during the day. Um, and then I know I read upon that Honda uh, actually put airbags in their motorcycles, but I didn't really understand why they would put airbags in a motorcycle. I mean, you could still die from it because you could fly, you know, you could literally fly off the motorcycle, so I don't understand the point of why they put um, airbags. And then. So my second point is they are dangerous and uh, you know motorcycles they tend to they're a distraction so when you're riding they tend to do wheelies on the freeway so you could end up you know they could end up uh, being hit by a car who's behind them because they're so distracted the passenger behind thinking that it's cool and they might not be paying attention to the speed that they're going, so they could hit them. And um, they like to speed. They also like to swerve on the freeway, which is pretty dangerous. Um, and they, it's hard to see them. Like this guy, I met him the night before he passed away, and he was riding his motorcycle, and he got struck by a 16-wheel uh, freight truck, and um, he ended up being under the tires of the of that truck, so he wasn't seen. So riding motorcycles are pretty dangerous for that reason. Um, so in conclusion, motorcycles shouldn't be ridden because they can be dangerous and it causes a lot of deaths. Thank you. Kendall, what did you think? Um, overall, I thought her speech was pretty good. She had a good, um, good story. So I'm not going to even get to know. Um, she had a good preview. Um, the statistics were pretty good. Uh, her eye contact, though, was more towards the middle of the room, towards the other side of the room. And then towards the end of the 
speech is going towards more not my direction. Um, and she kept reading a lot, so that might um, improve with more practice. And I think the speech is a little bit short. Yeah, it was a wee bit short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a third of the time that was available. All right. Well, um, it sounded like you kind of changed your argument in the course of the presentation. At first, it was just that uh, we should have restrictions on motorcycles on the freeways and uh, other roadways. And then it, it turns out to be an argument that says we shouldn't be having motorcycles at all. That's kind of what your exit is. And I thought that that seemed like a, a shift in your purpose. Um, I think you have an idea here that you want to talk about, but I'm, I'm not sure that it's fully formed at this point, and it's certainly dependent on a lot of um, stereotyping at one, in one section where you're talking about the risky behavior of uh, motorcyclists. In essence, they have earned a right to be banned from the roads because they're doing wheelies, they're uh, driving recklessly on the road, they're creating distractions to other people, and you can't see them. I know that uh, most motorcyclists would uh, perhaps point the finger in the other direction and say that the vast majority of accidents involving motorcycles have to do with the fact that people who are driving v cars are not paying attention to what they're doing. And uh, it's got less to do with whether or not somebody is on a motorcycle doing something dangerous and more to do with the fact that people in cars are not conscious and aware of what, what their surroundings are. Um, there's one section where it sounds like your argument is really more about motorcycle helmets than anything else, and maybe there's an argument to be made there that would be a little bit more specific. Uh, the idea that we should ban motorcycles from the roads, if that's going to be the position that you need to take, then you need to talk about all the reservations that are going to exist out there that people would have about this. I'm sure that there are substantial uh, number of motorcyclists, you don't have any data on that, um, or the economic impact that it has, or any of the justifications that people use for riding motorcycles. And uh, you don't address any of those kinds of issues, and they would all be general reasons why people might reject your position. I do think that you have a legitimate point to make that uh, riding a motorcycle is a dangerous uh, thing to do, uh, on, especially in uh, certain circumstances, and maybe there could be an argument about extra care that's going on there, but I'm not sure um, exactly where that would end up having to go. Your argument it seemed to irk you that uh, somebody tried to put uh, airbags on motorcycles, and uh, that seemed to be something that you found particularly uh, annoying, and I don't have any data about whether or not it was studied, whether or not it works, whether it makes any difference. Um, it seems to me, you know, like you say, well, what good does an airbag do? You could still be killed. Well, what good does a seatbelt do? You can still be killed too. You know, the question is, is there any information that suggests that it is a waste of time and energy? And I, I think you need to develop some content on that. Presentation-wise, I thought the eye contact was fine. Uh, you do have the nervous gestures a little bit uh, here and there, and like uh, has already been said, it was a, a little brief. All right, thank you. All right, I just want to check scheduled to speak today, but apparently not making an appearance. Maria? Not here. Okay. Melody? Not here. Ashley Sandovalen, not here. All right. Now, we had people that uh, were scheduled to speak on uh, Monday that we didn't get a chance to hear from, and I want to give them another opportunity. So, Quentin, are you here? Nope. Justin? Yeah. All right. You ready to go? Yeah. Good deal. Uh, Alexander's supposed to do the written evaluation and Tuan's supposed to do the oral evaluation. No, don't, 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 don't. Oh, is it just the, yeah, the just notes? The okay, yeah. if you're stapling the outline together, <laughs> that's one thing. Don't staple it to your evaluation form. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> well, I said that the other day and I said, don't staple it to your outline or your evaluation form and then, like... That's exactly what the person did. And I mocked them and 
That's why Naomi is amused.